After an eye-popping rise in egg prices earlier in the year, Humpty Dumpty is now having a great fall. The average nationwide retail price for a dozen eggs now at three bucks and twenty-seven cents. That's down from an all-time peak of four dollars and eighty-two cents back in January. Why? Supply and demand now tilting in the favor of consumers. Part of the reason why we got to such high prices had to do with high path avian influenza. That's right, the deadly bird flu, now starting to get under control. Sick birds led to low supply in December, the time of year when demand for eggs is highest. In the winter, the U.S. had about 308 million hens laying eggs, 20 million less than a year before. Calmaine Foods, the country's largest egg producer, commanding 20% of the retail egg market, sharply raised prices. Its profits grew more than 700% in the last quarter. Those profits ruffled feathers on Capitol Hill, with Democrats like Senator Elizabeth Warren and Congresswoman Katie Porter accusing them of price gouging. Calmaine's response, it does not directly set retail egg prices. But the worst of the bird flu appears to be over. The hen population is growing again, moving back up to 314 million in March. So supplies back in order. All while demand wanes. We're almost a week after Mother's Day, moving into Memorial Day, which, you know, then comes into your grilling season. With the holidays over and school about to break, the peak time for baking and eating breakfast at home is fading, which could all lead to deals at the grocery store. My guess is see it another several percentage points down, you know, maybe closer to a 299 or, or 275 situation, depending on what kind of promotions we see throughout the retail channels. All right, Brian Chung is joining us now. You know, high source of protein and prices are coming down. That's kind of welcome news now. Uh, is this likely to be a sign of things to come for other uh, food staples or uh, are eggs unique? Yeah, well, you heard from Amy Smith. We also asked her that same question, and she said eggs aren't necessarily a bellwether of other types of food prices across the board. So even though we saw some positive signs on the prices of eggs, it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to see commensurate declines in other categories as well. However, recent data that we got from the Consumer Price Index did show that the prices of food at home declining between March and April, albeit only by a little bit, but we'll take anything that we can get. At least yeah. for right now, the protein that we're getting from those eggs could be uh, a sign for other inputs getting cheaper as well. Like, for example, Tom, mayonnaise, right? So at least there's that. <laughs> there is that. Uh, you had so many pun opportunities there. And <laughs> You know, you kind of let I him die just at the very end. Okay, all right. <laughs> Brian, thank you. Brian Chung.